Tell me what you see with the regional sovereigns as well, because last week we saw OPEC moving to cut production by 1.2 million barrels. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be interesting because do you think that the higher or perhaps potentially weaker oil price environment is going to be impacting ratings next year? Well, I mean, of course, we, we try to take a bit of a longer perspective on oil prices. We, we won't move ratings with every fluctuation of which there are many in the oil price. Um, we, we still think that there'll be a, that there's a little bit of a recovery um, to come in in 2019 to 65 dollars on average. Um, we believe that um, we have seen an easing of fiscal consolidation progress in 2018 because um, some of the, the progress that had been made before really was very much driven by the immediate pressure from very low oil prices. That has eased um, because oil prices have mounted a lot. Um, now oil prices are coming are, are, again a bit lower and that might bring a little bit greater focus again on the fiscal consolidation story, um, away maybe a little bit again from the focus this year on GDP growth. Okay, so the commitment to fiscal consolidation is going to be important to watch across the region. What about the politics? No doubt this is going to be an issue that could potentially also impact ratings, particularly, particularly when you look at uh, the situation in Saudi Arabia, for example. Yeah, it's, it's kind of difficult to overstate the importance of, of politics on ratings. We did a study this year um, that showed rating crisis where we have a downgrade by more than three notches. Um, almost uh, some 47% of these, these situations were caused either directly, primarily, or at least in an auxiliary fashion by politics. And the region, of course, is quite full with a number of different, different kinds of political issues. So you can start with um, kind of the big geopolitics, although that's, that's still quite a tail risk, so Iran, Saudi Arabia confrontation. Um, but clearly there is a lot of um, local instability. We, had, we don't have a firm, uh, full government in place in Iraq. We don't, we don't have a government in place in, in, in Lebanon. There um, is quite a bit of instability in, in Tunisia, for example. Um, and then finally there is just, um, even where the government is firmly in place in the GCC, there is quite a bit of concern about the social pressures emanating from consolidation measures and that's where consolidation and politics really come very close together and are, are very heavily intertwined. Hi, I'm Emily Tan and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.